Yo, what up, street cards? This is Eric Kim. All right, that's hot. Uh, there's no form more beautiful than the human body, and the human form is the best form. So, these are my thoughts. When it comes to all sort of design, art, and everything in between, I think perhaps the best guide is actually the ancient Romans, the ancient Greeks, and studying the ancient Greek and ancient Roman uh, statues, sculptures, you know, epic poetry, epics, reading Homer's Iliad and the Odyssey, um, stuff like that seems to be the, the most beneficial. And uh, this is how it benefits us. So, pretty much, it seems there's nothing more beautiful than the human body. Now, why is this important? This is important in so far much as, I think in modern times, we're so sucker, you know, we want a fancy watch, we want fancy clothes, uh, you want more money, we want a quadrillion dollar company, blah, blah. And I think we kind of have to take it back to the old school where back in human, back in these times, the ancient Greeks saw human courage, human grandeur, and all that jazz as the apex whatever. And the big upside of this is that people had belief in great human beings and you know lots you know obviously physical grandeur you know <laughs> look at ancient greek statues these guys look fucking swole as well as you know low body fat percentage um look at the hercules Farne uh, farness f-a-r-n-e-s-s-e -S -S -E, uh, statue just to get a sense of you know what an ancient greek ideal for a beautiful body look like but anyways so the reason why this is interesting and important to me is that we tend to get suckered in modern day times to think that the ultimate form of masculinity is to buy, you know, fancy design objects and stuff like that. And this is actually plus one for uh, bodybuilding where if your goal and your spirit is to build up your body, this seems to be a much more interesting goal than to just, even like, you know, I'm all for like building fast cars and stuff like that too. But if we took all the time and money and effort we spent in building, you know, even a fast car or a race car or, you know, working hard at the office to, you know, buy a Tesla or a Lambo or Porsche or whatever have you. Um, yeah, what if we spent that time and energy and effort and money to buy ourselves more meat, to get more swole, to get stronger, um, even doing it in a spirit of fun where it's not like self-abnegation, it's testing your own uh, testing your own limits is about testing your own ability for you to you know fast throughout the day to lift weights see how much meat you could eat in one sitting um, see how many eggs you could eat in one sitting I think my record for eggs is like at the moment my record for eating eggs is around I think uh, Maybe like 18, 19, I'm gonna try to go for 20. 22, 22 is the goal, okay? So, yeah, lifting heavy weights, using your money on a gym membership, the gym is closed, buy yourself a weight set, if that's not an option, do body weight exercises, pistols, one-legged squats, one-handed uh, push-ups, dive bombers, whatever have you. Um, or just even going to the park, using a chin-up bar, doing muscle-ups and stuff like that. And so, you know, look at ancient statues and think that the human nude is the most beautiful art form there is. And all of our best values are human oriented and human centric. So look at some more ancient Greek and Roman statues, uh, read some ancient, ancient epics and uh, forms of poetry and use this to inspire you to also become the apex version of yourself possible.